Hi. It's Monday on Funny Gay Kids. Are you surprised that it's me again? This week's topic is gaydar. I have the best gaydar maybe in the history of the world. I mean, I think most lesbians have pretty good gaydar, but some don't. That's gotta be terrible to be a lesbian with no gaydar. If you can't tell who's gay, how do you know who to hit on? Seriously though, gaydar is extreme. Some people think it's subtle. Some people think it's like something you just know. And it's not. It's very blatant. You look at someone and all of a sudden it's like, Code red. There is a lesbian in the vicinity. Code red. Alert. There is a lesbian in the vicinity. I mean, I don't know how it works for other people, but I literally hear that voice in my head. And gaydar is specific. Like you see a girl and all of a sudden your brain just looks at her, identifies characteristics about her, and then calculates the percentage chance that she's a lesbian. Honestly, it's sickening. For me, it's like a sixth sense. Hell, I think it's one of my first five senses because I'm way, way worse at listening. I don't know. It can get a little awkward for me because I'm like overly excited. And so when I'm out and about in public and I see a lesbian, it usually goes something like this. Really though, it's out of control. There have been literal instances where I lost friends because I tried to tell them, dude, you're gay. And they were like, nah. And then years later, they come back to me and they're like, yeah, I mean, I'm out now. I'm dating a girl. Are you kidding me? I'm such a baller. How the hell did I know before you knew? It's ridiculous. Seriously though, it's pretty useful. I mean, it's something like, you can just like sniff them out. It's just you. <laughs> hey, hey. Code red, there is a lesbian in the vicinity. Code red, alert, there is a lesbian in the vicinity. You're a lesbian. Bye bye